afternoon students uh, next we will see the electrolyte meter see this uh, in uh, device is uh, has the same principle as that of uh, venturi meter that is it is a practical application of uh, bernoulli equation and um, this device is used to uh, measure the uh, discharge or the rate of flow of a fluid flowing through a pipe and uh, this figure shows uh, shows the orifice meter here you can see a flat plate see this is a flat plate it's a circular flat plate with a sharp edge the circular sharp edge and this shows the orifice meter here uh, in the figure uh, the sharp edge is not visible here there is a sharp edge over here okay and this is uh, this is the orifice okay now uh, coming to the dimensions of the orifice uh, here uh, this orifice is uh, kept uh, 0.5 times that of the pipe diameter or it may vary from uh, uh, may vary from 0.4 to 0.8 times of the pipe diameter okay and while choosing the section 1 and section 2 the section 1 is uh, taken 1.5 to 2 times from the orifice 1.5 to 2 times that of the pipe diameter from the orifice okay, from the orifice in the upstream side and the section 2 is kept at the vena uh, okay uh, yes at the vena contracta and uh, it is uh, almost 0.5 times the pipe diameter from the downstream side of the orifice okay so these are the dimensions and uh, between the section 1 and section 2 uh, there is a uh, differential manometer connected um, connected okay so you can see the differential uh, manometer to find out the pressure difference between the section 1 and section 2 now coming to the Uh, application of Bernoulli's equation. You are applying the Bernoulli's equation between section one and section two. Okay, so this is the equation P one by rho g plus V one square by two g plus Z one equal to P two by rho g plus V two square by two g plus Z two. Okay, and from the previous uh, example of injury meter, you know that the head difference H is taken as P one by rho g plus Z one minus of P two by rho g. Rho g plus is a two. Okay, and this is the head difference. This is known as the head difference. Now you are applying this uh, or uh, substituting this in this equation. In this equation, uh, you will get uh, this as h is equal to v one to this particular side, this side, uh, right hand side. Uh, so it will be v two square by two g by v one square by two g, or it is v two square minus v one square by the whole divided by two g. And it is again same as v two square minus v one square by uh, v one square equal to two g h. Okay, here uh, using the continuity equation, you are uh, finding out what is v one. Okay, so what is v one? A one v one equal to a two v two. So from uh, from here, uh, you can uh, see it is v one is equal to a two v two by a one. Substituting the same uh, this into uh, this particular equation for v one, uh, you will get. Uh, the equation like this, and you are extracting out v two from here, so it will be v two will be equal to root of two g h by root of one minus a two square by a one square. See here, after finding out v two, it is very easy to find out the discharge, isn't it? So that is, uh, since you know v two, it is uh, discharge will be a two v two. So what is a two? A two is the area of Vena contracta. What is vena contracta? Here, uh, here you see. So the water coming from through the pipe, it is contracting. It is converging to this particular orifice diameter. Okay. After converging, uh, uh, the uh, uh, what is actually happening is that it is gradually coming to the diameter of the uh, pipe. Okay, so here you can see this is the um, this is the path at uh, where this particular uh, water or a uh, fluid is traveling. This is the path. Okay, here um, after the orifice, there is a certain point at which the area of this particular fluid is minimum. That is known as vena contracta. So somewhere here, this is vena contracta, and that. Area uh, at that particular area only you are taking the section two two. Okay, so that area is known as a two. So a two is the 
area of vena contracta that is the area which is it is found to be minimum okay so that a2 you have to find out okay how to find out that a2 a2 can be found out with reference to area of uh, area of the orifice this is the only uh, thing which you can measure from the instrument or from the device that orifice area you can measure okay so from the area of the orifice you are finding out what is a2 with the help of coefficient of contraction okay so that is cc it is known it is uh, taken as uh, or denoted as cc okay so a2 is equal to cc into a now you know a2 okay for a particular device the manufacturer will give you the coefficient of contraction so that is cc is now known okay to you so from that you will be able to find out what is a2 okay so here what you have found out here from the equation is that it is the theoretical velocity you know that theoretical velocity is not uh, i mean it is um, it only remains in theory in practical situation the actual velocity will be much more lesser than the theoretical theoretical velocity so for that you have to again multiply the theoretical velocity with the coefficient known as coefficient of velocity that is cv okay so what is v actual v actual will be equal to cv into cv into v2 theoretical okay so this is v2 so now how to find out the discharge simply multiply a2 and v2 actual okay so a2 v2 actual will give you the q actual that is discharge actual discharge okay so here this is the equation applying uh, substituting for a2 and v2 you will get like this isn't it so from that you are grouping cc and cv these are the coefficients isn't it this is coefficient of contraction and this is the coefficient of velocity so you are grouping cc and cv together and i am taking that as cd coefficient of discharge of orifice meter okay not the venturi meter here again i am representing it as cd it is for orifice meter or you can represent as symbol c okay so what will be the equation for discharge now so q actual will be equal to cd into or capital c into a root of 2gh by root of 1 minus cc a by a1 square by where what is a a is the area of orifice okay and this is the equation again uh, rewriting this equation like this uh here you can see uh, the equation becomes like this okay so finally this is the uh, actual discharge equation q actual equal to c into a a1 root of uh, 2gh whole divided by root of a1 square minus a square where a1 is the area is uh, area of section 11 and a is the area of the orifice so this is the actual discharge okay now we will see uh one example uh, here uh, an orifice meter with orifice diameter is given okay is inserted in a pipe of 24 cm dia so the pipe dia is also given and the pressure gauge is fit, uh, is fitted upstream and downstream of the orifice meter gives reading of 21 newton per cm square and 11 newton per cm square respectively coefficient of discharge of the orifice meter is 0.6 find the discharge of water through the pipe so that is the uh, that is the main agenda of orifice meter that is to find out the discharge okay of fluid flowing through the pipe so what are the given data so we'll see first that is the here uh, coefficient of discharge is given c is given as 0.6 now what is area of the orifice a is given how uh, a we can find out from the diameter 12 cm so 12 by 2 that is 6 6 square pi r square you got the area of the orifice again same a1 area at the section 11 you can find out with with the help of pipe dia okay so a and a1 as uh, known uh, now okay and what is the next one it is to find out the find out the Uh, discharge that is actual discharge um, q actually can uh, see the 
uh, what is the uh, equation that is q actual is equal to c into a a1 root of 2 gh by root of a1 square minus a square okay so a a1 you already found out and uh, to find out the h how to find out the h this with this equation this we have already come across venturi meter and also uh, orifice meter in this uh, particular case also okay and uh, from here we are assuming uh, this uh, uh, particular pipe as horizontal uh, uh, that is uh, it has not mentioned about the level difference between the two um, uh, two sections so at that case we are taking uh, z1 equal to z2 okay since uh, it is a very small portion of the pipe is cons uh, is uh, taken by the orifice meter you are taking z1 and z2 as same okay so the level difference is same as uh, so z1 equal to z2 so these two will cancel and uh, so next will be h h will be uh, equal to p1 by rho g minus p2 by rho g and here they have uh, given uh, what that the pressure pressure is given that is here pressure gauge is fitted in the upstream and downstream which gives the value like this okay so the pressure is given you simply substitute the same in this uh, equation to get the h so that h is equal to 10.19 meters okay you always uh, remember to convert uh, the corresponding uh, data into sa units okay so that you have to uh, take care of that uh, particular thing and here you uh, found out what is h that is the head difference you got and you substitute h here so the only unknown here is q is it discharge so a1 a, a1 and a we found out c is already given h we have found out from this equation so the only unknown is uh, discharge actual discharge here so substitute all the values in the equation and uh, fi finally you will arrive at the uh, arrive at the discharge that is 0 0.099 meter cube per second so always remember to convert uh, the data into proper uh, proper unit okay and finally arrive at the answer and uh, remember to put the unit also i hope this uh, uh, problem is clear to you also the concept